Hello there, once again, it's Dusty Thunder with a story for you from Reddit. This one comes from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the astronaut for telling my wife she's gatekeeping my time when it comes to our kids and her emotions? Before we go into the situation, I, 33 male, own my own company, but the job requires me to be away from home for weeks at a time. When I am home, it's usually only for four to five days before leaving for work again. My wife, 30 female, is a stay-at-home mom who is often overstimulated and who just recently started her own small business. Now on with the situation. So my wife texts me this evening saying I may want to call my daughter tomorrow and talk to her because she's had a rough day. According to her, my daughter was tired, our, our two boys were fighting, and this caused my daughter to become upset and start crying for me. My wife, being overstimulated, didn't let her call me so she could talk to me. When I asked why my daughter wasn't able to call me, my wife responded with, I was overstimulated and just wanted them to go to sleep. When I read the word overstimulated, I called her. My wife's love language is affirmation, and I've learned that calling and giving her words of affirmation helps her calm down. We talk for several minutes with me telling her how great of a job she's doing with the kids and with sales at her business, because honestly, she has been doing great with keeping the business up and holding down the home front. Then she asked, are you mad that I didn't let her call you? I said, no, but it does upset me when I find out one of my children was literally verbally crying for me but wasn't allowed to call me. This caused her to blow up on me, saying I don't know what she goes through on a daily basis because I'm always gone for work and that she feels like I don't respect her feelings as much as I do our children's feelings. So I brought up that this wasn't the first time she's done this and asked her how it would make her feel if one of her kids were crying for her but weren't allowed to call her. She again said that I wasn't considering her feelings, so I asked her why she doesn't let them call me if they've been bad. And she replied, I'm hanging up now. I don't, I don't appreciate being told I gatekeep my kids' phone time with their dad as a form of punishment or that you're not respecting that I didn't let her call because I was overstimulated. Call her in the morning. And she hung up. I never once downplayed the fact that she was overstimulated. I just pointed out that I don't want my kids to ever feel like they can't call me when they need me to talk to them after a bad day because it might cause someone else to be upset. So, am I the astronaut? Too long, don't read. My wife didn't let my daughter call me when my daughter was upset and is now mad that I implied she gatekeeps their phone time with when she's overstimulated or trying to punish them. Edit, I call my wife and kids every morning and FaceTime them for about two hours each night. The question was, am I the astronaut for telling my wife she's gatekeeping my time when it comes to our kids and her emotions? That was a confusing title for this, um, but I get it. I, I get it. It's This is a, a not super clear, not super simple situation here. Okay, so there's, there's a lot of NTA, um, and I understand that. However... I think the flip side of this as a parent is that, look, whenever a kid is upset, specifically if they're upset because because they're having to do something they don't want to do, they're always going to want the parent that isn't there. They're always going to want the parent that isn't the one making them do the thing they don't want to do. And if if we allowed Navy Thunder to call whichever one wasn't there because the parent who was there making her do the thing she doesn't want to do uh, because she just wanted the other one, we'd be getting 30 phone calls per day. You know what I mean? Like their kids will manipulate this structure. So as, as in mom's position here, I can see I can see where it's dangerous to let them start doing that. Now, I understand dad's point of view, too, because if if one of our kids was like, I want to talk to my dad and someone was like, no, I'd be like, the f you did. But I understand both sides of it here. Like I'm torn on this. I don't know. Um it's kind of a, it's kind of an NTA and an ESH for both of them. I think this is just a communication issue. They have to get on the same page about how they're going to handle this kind of thing because it is a parenting thing more than it is a personal thing. That's my opinion on it anyway. But I'm going to go here because it is, yeah, NTA slash ESH. It's, it's tough. I don't think either one of them is an asshole because they have a reason for doing what they're doing, but they're, they're on different receiving ends of the of the situation and they need to come together and both agree on how they're going to play this out. Actually, I think in this specific instance, I'm a little more in mom's favor because it's who, whatever parent is on duty is the one that's calling the shots with the kids, right? Like how she's going to handle that situation is how she best sees fit at the time for him to get involved on her calling the shots when he's not there is tough. I'm a little more in her favor. It's still an ESH. It's just a communication issue. And people may firmly believe that he was in the right or she was in the right 
Um, and this is just, a, I think, a worldview life experience thing where I have the view that I have. Nobody else is going to have exactly the same view. I understand that. Um, and I respect I respect your view of it based on your life experience to this point. It's just a, it's a tough situation for me. And I could see where if I was stuck away from home often, I would feel the dad guilt of not being able to talk to or see my kids often. And that's probably driving his response and the mom guilt of having to be the one that's there dealing with everything and feeling like the bad guy all the time because kids are calling out for dad. And she's like, well, I'm right here. Am I not good enough? Um, Like they each have their own, their own shit they're dealing with right now. I understand their viewpoints, but they need to come together and form some kind of alliance here because if they are on opposite ends of this thing, they're going to end up just butting heads over and over and over again. 